Hello students. Today I am going to teach the topic requirements for cloud services. So let's proceed with the requirements for cloud services. As in layman's terms, the cloud ecosystem describes the usage of value of each entity in the ecosystem and when all the entities in the ecosystem are put together users are now able to have an integrated suit made up of best of breed solution an example of is a tally which is a one of the application now as in the requirements point of view one can understood that the cloud services or service offering models require certain feature to be exhibited in order to consider as a service that's why in the concept of cloud computing they are come up with the three services like an software as a service infrastructure as a service and platform as a service the following are the basic requirements for anything that can be considered as service by the actors of the cloud computing ecosystem now these are nothing but requirements for a cloud services let's proceed for this requirement first is a multi tenancy in this multi tenancy is an essential characteristic of cloud systems aiming to provide isolation of the different users of the cloud system that is called as a tenancy while maximizing resource sharing it is expected that multi tenancy be supported at various levels of cloud infrastructure as an example at the application level multi tenancy is a features that allow a single instance of an application so you can say database system and leverage the economy of scale to satisfy several users at the same time also as a point of view of the requirements of the cloud services another is a service life cycle management cloud services are paid as per the usage and it is follow the pay as you go subscription and it can be started and ended at any time therefore it is required that a cloud service support automatic service provisioning in addition metering and charging or billing settlement needs to be provided for services that are dynamically created modified and then release in a virtual environments also as a point of view of the requirements of a cloud services next requirement is a security in terms of security the security of each individual service needs to be protected in multi tenant cloud environment the users which is referred as a tenants also support the needed secured services meaning that a cloud provides strict control for tenants service access to different resources to the avoid the abuse of cloud resources and facilitate the management of csu or cloud service provider that is csp let's proceed for the another requirements that is a responsiveness what about this one so in this responsiveness the cloud ecosystem is expected to enable early detection diagnosis and fixing of service related problems in order to help the customers use the services faithfully because of that in a market there are number of service providers available and also client is having a trust on that cloud service providers also in terms of the intelligent service deployment in this it is expected that the cloud enables efficient use of resources in a service deployment that is 
maximizing the number of deployed services while minimizing the usage of resources and still respecting the SLA service level agreements. For example, the specific application characteristics, example central processing or CPU intensive or input output intensive that can be provided by developers or via application monitoring may be helped in cloud service providers in making efficient use of resources let's proceed for the another requirement that is portability interoperability regulatory aspects environmental sustainability service reliability then service availability quality assurance service access flexibility accounting and charging massive data processing let's proceed with portability in this term it is expected that a cloud service supports the portability of its features over various underlying resources and that cloud service providers should be able to accommodate cloud workload portability example virtual machine portability which is a act as a computing services in a different kinds of cloud service provider with limited service disruptions in terms of the interoperability here it is expected to have available well documented and well tested specification that allow heterogeneous systems in cloud environments to work together in terms of the service reliability or in terms of the regulatory aspects how we can define these requirements here all applicable regulation shall be respected including privacy protection because of that we are having a faith on this cloud service provider about our data keeping on their database then in terms of the environmental sustainability it is a key characteristics of cloud computing is the capability to access through a broad network and thin clients on demand shared pool of configurable resources that can be rapidly provisioned and released cloud computing can then be considered in its essence as an ict energy information and communication technology consumption consolidation model supporting mainstream technologies aiming to optimize energy consumption that is a uh, in data centers and application performance example of such technology include virtualization and multi tenancy this is in terms of the environmental sustainability what about the service reliability service availability and quality assurance here the csv demand for their service end to end quality of service that is a qos assurance high level of reliability and continued availability of their cloud service provider and that is a requirement for the every client and definitely this requirement has been fulfilled by the cloud services also in terms of the service access a cloud infrastructure is expected to provide CSUs with access to cloud service from any user device it is expected that CSUs have a consistent experience when accessing the cloud services also in terms of the flexibility let's talk about this one so it is expected that the cloud service be capable of supporting multiple cloud deployment models and cloud service categories as questions comes on accounting and charging so here it is expected that a cloud service be capable to support various accounting and charging models and policies what are the policies defined by every cloud service provider that is under the accounting and charging then massive data processing here in this requirements it is expected that cloud supports 
mechanism for massive data processing that is extracting transforming and loading the data it is worth to note in this context that distributed and parallel processing system will be used in a cloud infrastructure deployment to provide large scale integrated data storage and processing capability that scale with software based fault tolerance then as the question comes in terms of massive data processing the expected requirements for services in a infrastructure as a service category include computing hardware requirements including processing memory disk network interface and virtual machine also computing software requirements which including operating system other pre installed softwares also it consists of storage requirement here including the storage capacity of the cloud then network requirements so in this it include the quality of a service specification such as bandwidth and traffic volumes then availability of requirements which includes protection backup plan for computing storage and network resources so the expected service requirements for services in the platform as a service category consist of requirements similar to those infrastructure as a service category then deployment options of user created application that is a scale out options which is a one of the famous facility available in the cloud service providers the expected service requirement for services in the software as a service which include application specific requirement including licensing options network requirement that is the quality of service specification such as the bandwidth and traffic volume so these are the certain requirement for the different platform whether it is an software as a service whether it is an a platform as a service or whether it is an info structure as a service but in this three there is one thing is common that is network requirement which includes quality of service specification such as a bandwidth and traffic volume with this the standard requirements as discussed here like in portability interoperability regulatory aspects environmental sustainability then service reliability service availability then service access flexibility accounting and charging master data processing with this multi tenancy service life cycle management security responsiveness and intelligent service deployment so these are the certain requirements for any cloud services so if you move in a market and if you looking for any cloud service subscription definitely everywhere you can found it such characteristics or such requirements for the cloud services even if you can also check for every point like an service access flexibility or massive account processing now if one example i am taking as a in a market there is a two cloud service provider one is amazon aws another is a microsoft azure then in this azure or amazon aws they are famous for their cloud services in terms of the platform as a service infrastructure as a service as well as the software as a service now depends on what kind of services you want basically you can put your requirement and you can see how they are going to satisfy all this requirement by providing the security so three kinds of service with which the cloud based computing resources are available to the end user whether it's an saas whether it's an pass or whether it's an infrastructure as a service it is also known as service platform infrastructure that is a spi so in terms of the requirement as saas is a software distribution model in which applications that is software which is one of the most important computing resources are hosted by the vendor in terms of the pass is a paradigm for delivering operating system and associated services like an case tools and all like that we have in the 
infrastructure as a service where you will get all kinds of platform the required hardware or software configuration which is necessary for the development so this is all about the requirements for the cloud services thank you